Alright guys, it's Jafer, and what you see in front of you are three absolutely useless boom arms, but I think I found the right one. Let's take a look. And so before I had this IKEA desk, I had this small boom arm that's supposed to have a weighted base to it. Uh, you can tell it's all dusty because I don't ever use this stupid thing. The weight on it is definitely not enough to maintain a phone, let alone a camera. Now, if you have a microphone that's super lightweight, like the Wade 3, it does get the job done. But all in all, it was kind of a bad purchase because it just has a large, ugly base that's not very well weighted. And the springs are really noisy on it. So then, okay, let's get one of those cheap boom arms that we see on Amazon all the time that people swear by. So you get one of these, and this thing just feels like it wants to fall apart at any moment. The gunk buildup on my desk from the sticker residue, just twisting and conforming to the pressure that I'm putting on the clamp, it's just it's not a good purchase. And my thing is that, you know, if you're putting like $150, $200, $700 equipment on a boom arm, why are you putting all your trust in this like $20 rinky thing? So then I say, okay, we're gonna invest in something nice and classy, and that is the blue compass. And let me tell you, this thing was really nice when I first got it, um, and by that I mean before you even put anything on it. The tension on this is so strong, you have to have like an eight pound Yeti microphone for this to be at all versatile to you. And even then though, the you know the pressure joints here use these thumb screws that you have to really, really crank on for them to do anything with. And they only really work for the base and the top one. The most important one, the one in the middle, I cranked on it so hard to try to get it to work with me that it just busted. So it doesn't even use standard springs. It actually has like a steel wire in it. And there's no way to fix this now, so this is just absolute junk. And it sucks because this is a nice looking boom arm. And I love the wire management. It's just very clean looking when it did work. But unfortunately, I had to limit the amount of stuff that I could use with this. And I've had this since April of last year. And yeah, I don't know why I never took the stickers off. But either way, though, uh, really disappointing in this. And I thought to myself, I do have a lot of Elgato stuff, and while they don't necessarily like turn the industry upside down with their products, the products they do make are just so good. So I figured, let's check out the new low profile microphone arm. Where the camera is right now is usually where I sit, so I want the boom arm on the left, and we do have the included clamp, which is super, super heavy. Uh, then we have, it looks like the arm is fully assembled already. So this should be a pretty quick and easy installation. All right, and literally this took maybe five minutes to install, but the clamping force on this is really strong. The weight of this actually sits right in its pivot point here without any issues. This is all metal and these are magnetic for the wire management. So, I mean, you can hear the metal clinging back and forth. It is really, really nice that it keeps everything clean. They're open enough for, you know, your XLR cables or multiple cables, whatever it may be. Uh, there's ample room here where it's not going to get pinched in the cable. You do have the standard like Elgato dials here if you want to make an adjustment on the heights. You know, you can turn it any which way you want. It's really weird. The low profile design makes it look like it's not that flexible, but it actually is surprisingly very, very flexible. And you have another one back here. You can change that. This one actually is on a ball joint. So you have a lot of different angles to work with on this. On top of if your microphone already has its own joint in the back. So a lot of versatility there. And so with this, you know, you can angle it inward if I wanted to. If I wanted to make sure that nothing was in the way, it's still at a good head level height. And then if I want to reach it all the way across, you know, if I just put my keyboard in my standard position, I still have all of this to work with without it being in the way. Uh, I, I really dig it. The only downside I could see with this is if you have like a drink somewhere, obviously with this sitting so low to the desk, 
<laughs> there's a risk where you could definitely knock over a drink. So uh, you definitely want to be careful there. But all in all, this is extremely sturdy, and I'm going to definitely give it some hours and some usage, make sure it doesn't creak over time. I will definitely update you guys if there's any issues with this down the road. But I was really excited when they announced this. I know that, this again, this is not something brand new. These things have been around for a while, but I do like that ecosystem of Elgato and all the products they have to offer. And I bought this with my own money, nothing sponsored or anything like that. But if you follow me on Twitter, you've definitely seen uh, the anger I've had toward my blue compass. We don't have a good relationship. So hopefully this one will definitely be a better one. But yeah, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below if you are interested in getting one yourself. I will say as much as I love when you guys support me by buying stuff on Amazon using my affiliate link, it might be cheaper for you to buy it through Elgato.com and use a content creator code, which I found through Honey. So whatever's going to save you the most money is definitely the route you do want to take. All right, but that does it for me. I am Jay for This is definitely a different type of video than I've normally done, but I wanted to share this uh, unboxing and really brief overview of this boom arm. Not really a review until I put some more time into it. But uh, if you're like me and you're looking for something of high quality, this might be where it's at. might be the answer for you. But I do appreciate you tuning in. If you have any questions on this or any of the other ones I mentioned, uh, definitely drop a comment below. And, of course, if you liked the video, please hit that like button. And until next time, stay safe.